Look at that lighting. Look at that glow on my face. All right, let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm out here on the hammock. I'm just chilling. It's so beautiful today. I'm on campus. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I go to USC. And it's been three years now. I just finished my third year. I'm gonna be a senior next year. And it just got me all thinking about reminiscing and how fast everything's gone by. And just how much has happened in these past three years. And so I wanted to take a little time since I'm seeing all these kids. I just thought about what if I could make a video of things that I wish I knew before college since y'all are coming right now and it's just about the time where everybody's getting ready, go, about to go on orientation, finishing up with high school, things like that. So this is 10 things I wish I knew before college. Here we go. All right. So number one, first of all, look at the, look at that view. Oh, it's so beautiful, y'all. I'm on the hammock. I'm, I'm so at peace right now. It's a little chilly, but it's a beautiful LA day. I'm not bragging. Anyway, number one is embrace the diversity that's going to be around you. So you may be coming from high schools where there might not be too much diversity just in terms of different cultures, different types of peoples that you may have never encountered, experienced before. It happens all the time, but when you come to college, it seems like everybody is different. Coming from all different parts of the world, uh, different parts of the country, maybe even from the same state, but they're entirely different people than you've ever met in your entire life. And it's so incredible. It is so cool to experience and really just embrace that. Uh, I always say that to me, college, honestly, is only 10% the actual education, like actually going to class, learning, the actual sit down book education. But the rest of 90% of college to me, to be honest, is going out and just experiencing all the different types of people and opportunities and cultures and everything that's around you just a time to really four years to just be a degenerate if you want or just be really studious and good and go out and just go and explore and just really have four years of freedom to just go out and do you and just find who you are really number two this is definitely a big one and a lot of you have probably thought about it or maybe worried about it, especially people, a lot of people, a lot of my friends who um, definitely came into college kind of homesick and feeling a little like missing home, things like this. Like, So number two is it's okay to not be okay sometimes because four years of college is going to be a long, long journey or maybe even doing two years community college, whatever it may be, it's still a long journey. And I just thought I'd put that in there just so you know that you may be going through some things emotionally, especially at the start of college, um, but to just know that everything will get better and everything will change and it's okay because there are plenty of other people who are going through the same thing. You know, just take it, uh, take it in and just think about it you know don't just put it aside or brush it under the carpet you know embrace the feelings and work through them and you'll get through it you definitely will all right number three now this is a big one since I'm already kind of on the topic I'll just keep going with it is embrace change because the biggest thing in college is gonna be change you're gonna realize that the person you are from high school even a year into college, after your freshman year, you're gonna be an entirely different person. Two years in, three years in, forget it. You could look at yourself from high school and you might not even recognize yourself because you're finally on your own. You get some time to be independent, self-sufficient, find who you are and what you like, what you believe in. So really embrace that change. Try to think to yourself, you know, really uh, take in all the lessons that you've learned, all the things that you've uh, encountered, new things and, and all the new opportunities that you have in front of you and really just take the time to find who you are, yourself and who you want to be into your adulthood because this is really the time to 
define who you're gonna be for the rest of your life I mean you're gonna be changing throughout life as well but this is where it really starts you get these four years of virtually zero responsibility so really really take that time to go out and find who you are go explore do things that you maybe wouldn't have normally done get out of your comfort zone i know everybody always says it but it's true do some things that you normally wouldn't do because you're gonna find out new things about yourself just change your mindset to thinking about oh i'm gonna just embrace this and take it as a learning opportunity and learn about yourself as well because you're gonna change so much it's incredible like you really won't believe it and then you're gonna come back three years from now you're gonna say wow you know what divinity was right you know it was actually i changed so much and i'm telling you it's gonna happen number four is hold up i'm forgetting already oh yeah number four so it's a classic one you probably already heard it everybody always says it but it's definitely true so i had to put it in the friends that you or people that you just meet your freshman year in the beginning of the year or just orientation whatever may not necessarily be the friends that you end up with or like your friend group your core friend group um by the end of the year or throughout college sometimes you're going into a school uh you know i came to usc there's over 40,000 people here graduate and undergraduate so a lot of people come into big schools and it can definitely be you know cause a lot of stress to be thinking about oh i don't know am i going to be able to find friends things like this like there's so many people and what am i going to do things you know but just don't stress about it go through it uh with a little bit of peace you just knowing that you will find your group trust me you will and don't worry about it because friends will change even from the people that you might first meet um that first day that you walk on campus number five this is for all you lazy people out there like me get up off your lazy butt and go get a job that's number five because look it now there's gonna be a lot of benefits to getting a job and i'm not just saying it to say it even if you got money get a job because what it'll do for you first of all it'll give you balance in your life it's going to help you to start to learn how to balance all the things whether it be work school and going out social life all these things but anyway now you're going to get to college and the thing is you're not going to realize now probably everybody always tells you college is expensive especially in these big cities and it's true i cannot i cannot state enough how expensive college is because you wouldn't even realize how much food that you gotta eat in a whole week and then now you're paying for all of it get a job because it's gonna help you pay for it all right number six. Oh, look at that lighting Ooh, the sun just broke through the trees number six get a bike some type of bike scooter skateboard something because i'm telling you right now most college campuses are pretty big and spread out and going from class to class they only give you maybe 10 minutes in between classes sometimes to be able to get to your class and you're going to be coming over here especially if you're in a hotter climate like los angeles things like that you're going to be walking to class it's 100 degrees out with the sun and if you like me I sweat like crazy man or you just trying to rush in between classes and you really just don't have time there is so much walking that you're not even gonna realize that you're doing in college and it's good get a little exercise but to be honest with you you are not gonna regret getting a bike or some type of skateboard or something to help you get around and a little faster now the thing is if you're gonna get the bike get a good lock look don't be cheap on no lock you're gonna be paying a lot of money for everything else in college but do not be cheap on a damn lock put the maximum security you can on that bike because let me tell you i came all right story time story time two weeks into school only two weeks into school i parked my bike right outside my dorm 
if you go to USC, uh, you're gonna learn about New North. It's the dorm. Um, one of the best dorms in my opinion. I loved it. Definitely go to it. It's gonna be a fun place. But I want, you know what? It's right here actually. I'll show you. It's right, right there, that building. And I parked my bike kind of like right around there. And you can't really see it because of the garage over there, but there's a, a, a little security station right by it. So I thought, okay, this is gonna be safe. The security stays there all night. And I parked it on the bike rack. Of course, now I come back the next morning and what do you know? My bike's gone. I put it locked up and everything. It was secure. Beautiful bike, gone. Two weeks into school. So what do I gotta do? I gotta go uh, buy another bike. And I bought another bike because I said, you know what? I'm still not trying to walk. And so I come back. Okay, I'll park my bike again. First night, cool. Everything's all right. I come back the second night. I park my bike again. Okay, I go to sleep. And now I come back two days after losing my first bike i come down the next night what do you know my second bike stolen within two days in the beginning of the year i get two of my bikes stolen and junior year this past year i um i finally got a new bike but i'm living in a new place now where there's better security there's a gate and everything nobody's getting to my bike but really just if you can learn anything from that story is to get a good lock if you're gonna get a bike okay number seven don't go buy your books from the bookstore you may have heard this before but i cannot understate how important this one is because you go to that bookstore you're gonna get ripped off i'm telling you right now a book that may cost a hundred bucks anywhere else you'll find it for at least 200 in the bookstore. Don't fall for it. I don't care what they tell you. Now, I'm not trying to say do anything illegal, but if you can find a PDF or something like that online, again, I'm not trying to say do anything illegal, but if you can find a PDF online, you better go find it. And and it'll be free zero dollars how much better is that but now look if you don't want to go that route i understand some people don't like to do those type of things so if you don't want to go that route there's another great thing that i love to do go on amazon you'd be so surprised i don't think i've paid more than 30 dollars for any book it's usually between 20 to 30 dollars and you rent the book for the whole semester done you walk out of that amazon rental with maybe a uh, hundred hundred fifty dollars worth and you're done and you rented your books for the whole semester all right number eight number eight is hookup culture is definitely real you've probably heard about it and you've seen it in movies and all and like frat parties and all this and people just going around and having fun partying and hooking up and all this so you know i'm gonna tell you this right now you're gonna go to these parties and stuff and it's not gonna be exactly like you see in the movies it's definitely not that out there but parties can definitely get pretty wild and definitely pretty crazy it's fun man you know the biggest thing about it is you know know your limits um and just watch who you're going around you know the people that you're around to stay close with friends that you know and people that you trust and then you'll be fine go out there go have some fun go out and experience you know what i mean like you gotta get into a little trouble sometimes and do some things that you normally wouldn't you know really just go out experience life have fun it's college come on you get four years to do this so it's real be aware of it and and you know just be cautious but really go out there have some fun that's all all right so let's keep going number nine it no hold up i know what it is oh yeah number nine look ahead immediately and see if there's any group projects because the thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the right people in your group when you come to college everything pretty much changes most of your classes are gonna be, your grade are gonna be made up of maybe four or five things. It's gonna be maybe three tests and a project and participation. Or maybe one of my finance classes, it was just four tests, 
25% each, and that's your entire grade. So the thing about college is, when you come, get to know which classes have group projects in them, because this is gonna be a big thing. Your group projects are probably gonna be worth somewhere between 20 to 30% of your grade sometimes. And so it can be a make or break on your grade. It could be the difference between a B plus and an A minus. You know what I mean? This is huge. So you need to make sure you got the right people in your group. And then if you have group projects, immediately start going up in each class and start introducing yourself, trying to get to know some people, you know, get a little charm in it, make some people laugh, make them like you, and really just get to know people in your classes because it's gonna be crucial. Um, not only are you gonna make friends find it, uh, that way, but the biggest thing that you're gonna find out is who's studious and who's not. You're gonna be finding out who the people that's getting A's and, and like B pluses, A's, A minus, things like that, and who's doing really well in the class and who's not. And that is the key because you need to make sure that you are with the right people. I can't tell you enough, really, I can't tell you enough. Okay, number 10 is if possible, plan your schedule so that you don't have any 8 a.m. You know, I know there's gonna be some of y'all hero types out there that's gonna be saying, oh no, I can do it. Believe me, uh, I wanna do it for myself. It's gonna help me to get up and feel good about myself. I can go work out at like six in the morning and then I'll go to class at 8 a.m. and it's gonna help me. I'm gonna be really good. I'm gonna do it. I've... No, 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 it's a lie. You lying to yourself, you lying to me, you lying to everybody. It's not gonna happen. You're not gonna wake up in no 8 a.m. classes. Come on, man. This is great. You may have done it for high school, but once you get to college and you feel how incredible the freedom and the relaxation is, ain't no way you're gonna be getting up for an 8 a.m. class. I'm just telling you right now, you're lying to yourself if you're saying that you're gonna be able to make it to that 8 a.m. Bonus. All right, so bonus number 11. I'm just gonna give you all this one. Go look at the Rate My Professor pages and really try to find the best teacher for you. Now, if you're just trying to get good grades, yeah, go find the easy teachers. I'm always looking for the easy teachers. And don't be ashamed of that. Are you kidding me? If you can get an easier teacher that's gonna teach you right the same material, it's the same material, so who cares? Go take the easier test. Why not get a better grade? Help your GPA, it'll help you get a better job. Trust me, you rate my professor. But that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, if you like the video or if you want any other videos or anything any other type of advice or anything I got plenty more coming for you not just about college but also just about life in general and and fitness and health and lifestyle and all this so I got plenty more coming for you guys so like comment and subscribe I'll put a little subscribe button like right here maybe hopefully if I can figure out how to work it but like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Adios.